morning and welcome to the Stalls TV Morning Show. I'm Zach. And I'm Josh. And we just came back from the imprinted sportswear show in Atlantic City. And wow, was it quite the experience and completely jam-packed at that show. Yeah, absolutely. There were lots of new things in the Stalls booth, which we're going to spend a little bit of time on here later in the show. But there was just a lot of interest in old things that were seemingly becoming new. One in particular, at least in the back part of our booth, was the print and cut machines. The interest in digital printing was absolutely phenomenal at this show, from people talking about direct-to-garment printing to getting into print cut, which one's right for them, uh, those types of things. But full-color transfers were uh, extraordinarily popular at this show. Yeah, and I think a lot of it has to do with, well, just folks entering the industry and having a, a need for digital printing, but really the advancement of materials with what you can actually make with the machine. And I think uh, customers are finding that they're looking um, to make them get the most bang for their buck and invest in technology that's versatile and not sort of one-dimensional as they're looking to expand or start into business. Yeah, absolutely, and the, um, the need to decorate performance wear for high profit applications we saw as well, which again ties into that uh, print and cut. And then, you know, Stalls has a couple new materials for that on the uh, cut only side, which we're going to get a, a peek at one of them here uh, yeah. later in the show. Yeah, absolutely. Another interesting thing, uh, we give a lot of classes at these shows. And if you ever get a chance to uh, come out to a, a show like this, make sure you visit Stalls TV and look at our live event schedule and our on the spot, on location events. And you can see which ones we're giving classes at. But we had, I think, six, seven, eight classes with Stalls mm -hmm. TV presenters, including a, a full workshop on the first day uh, that was a make and take event that went from 10 a.m. to 5. That one was great. But the one that sort of caught my uh, attention was the applique uh, seminar. Bob was supposed to give it, right. but Bob came down sick, so I had to fill in. And uh, he still sat there and, and helped as he could because uh, he was losing his voice. But um, we had a room full of about 50 embroiderers, and out of those, only three did applique. Really? Yeah. And so what I came away with is that most of them were afraid of how to cut and create mm -hmm. and really come up with the cut portion and marry that to the sewn portion of applique mm -hmm. and got confused on material options. And so there was just a ton of interest once they saw rip away applique and how you can just lay the panel and sew it out. You don't have to worry about anything other than basically creating your sew file and understanding your stitch types, um, a lot of them were interested in that because it sort of demystified applique a bit. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to all of you guys, the viewers, who came out and introduced yourself to us and said, hey, we watch the show on a weekly basis. It was awesome to, to get to see some faces on the other end of who comes in and watches us on Monday morning. Yeah, and that part was cool because I had a, a few specific people, I was more than one story at least, that came up and said, hey, we watched the videos, we watched the morning show, we invested in just a cutter and a heat press. Mm -hmm. Like, didn't go crazy, just a cutter and a heat press, and I was able to quit my job, my leave corporate America. I was able to make 60000 last year or 100000 back to the business last year mm -hmm. just with a cutter and my heat press. I had one guy that said he made 60000 off of his dining room table. Wow. Uh, Part-time, which, which is pretty awesome, and that's great to hear, and that's what we love about this industry. Not only can you make money in it, but you can feed creativity, and it's just a fun industry to be in. So uh, Courtney spoke, I believe it was last week, um, about uh, some products we were going to be launching at the ISS Atlantic City Show. And one of those products is a product that we're calling CAD Cut Glaze. Um, it's already available from the stalls.com website. But this product was cool. It generated a lot of interest at the show. Yeah, it was, it was one of those products when I first saw it through our launch process where I was like, kind of cool, you know. Yeah. I didn't uh, apparently have the big vision for it because our customers definitely did here at the show. Yeah, it was amazing. They swarmed around that area where it was being displayed. And so we want to share CAD Cut Glaze with you for those of you that didn't get to make it to the show with this short video. Hi, I'm Josh Ellsworth. Stahl's CAD Cut Direct is the world's leading manufacturer of CAD Cut heat transfer films. We're always working hard at our labs to innovate new products, and we're very excited to have Stahl's TV present to you our latest innovation to help you customize apparel and grow your business. Stay tuned to learn about CAD Cut Glaze. I'm Courtney Kapitza with Stalls TV. 
And today, I'm excited to share with you a new CatCut heat transfer material with a soft, metallic finish. CatCut Glaze. Now, CatCut Glaze is unlike any other metallic material that's on the marketplace today. The translucent metallic finish actually changes colors depending on the fabric color that it's applied to. So you can begin to get really creative and create unique designs for your customers. The material comes in five colors. You'll notice here on the black shirt how the five colors show up on a dark fabric and a very vibrant metallic finish. Now take a look at those same colors on a white shirt. Here you'll notice that the colors are very understated and you can also use these for tonal effects for tone on tone coloring. The colors also shift depending on what you apply them to, so the colors are very unique. In this video, we're going to show you four ways that you can use them to grow your sales. To create your custom designs with CAD Cut Glaze, simply load the material into your vinyl cutter and cut your designs. Once the material has been cut, we'll weed away the excess material to reveal our transfers. The first way to grow your sales with CAD Cut Glaze is with Tone on Tone prints. For this application, I'll be using the color blue and applying it to a similar color fabric to create a stunning metallic tonal effect. CatCut Glaze has a low temperature application, which makes it perfect for personalizing performance wear just like this without scorching the fabric. We'll set it off to the side, let it cool completely, and then we'll peel it back. Since the material is completely cool to the touch, I'm going to go ahead and peel it back and create that tone on tone effect. With a soft, lightweight hand and high stretch and rebound, you'll be able to create high end foil finishes on today's performance fabrics. Let's take a look at this tone on tone application one more time for a fashion garment. Featuring the color gold on a similar shade fabric, CatCut Glaze complements this fashionable, lightweight ladies garment with a soft feel. The low temperature application is also perfect for this heat sensitive garment. Secondly, use CatCut Glaze for a translucent metallic finish on white or light garments. For this finish, I use the color green on a white performance jacket. You'll notice how the color shifts with the wearer and changes in the light, picking up the colors around it. Third, we'll create vibrant metallic finishes on black and dark fabrics. This big bold print created in silver is sure to stand out to your customers. With a soft hand and a lightweight fill, this large print will feel comfortable on the garment. The fourth opportunity presents a brand new approach to sublimated fabrics. Hard to decorate in the past because of bleed through. CatCut Glaze creates a unique opportunity to create metallic finishes over the sublimated pattern. Notice how the red color of CatCut Glaze takes on that sublimated camo pattern and changes the shade where the name and the number is for a unique effect. CatCut Glaze, your only limit with this material is your own creativity. Let's recap this new trendy material. CatCut Glaze has a soft, translucent metallic finish, so it color shifts and changes depending on the color of the fabric that it applies to. It opens your creativity up to unique designs that your customers will love and they're sure to sell. It's also soft and lightweight, so it feels comfortable on the garment for the wearer and gives them a nice metallic finish that they want. And the low temperature application makes it perfect for performance wear and heat sensitive garments that are popular on today's marketplace. So take a look at CAD Cut Glaze. This has been Courtney Gabitza with Styles TV. Thanks for watching. You saw in the video there, CAD Cut Glaze can be used a lot of different ways. So it's, once again, feeds into creativity. Um, and then also feeds into the trend that we've been talking about, which is a low temp application. The fact that you can press that at 265 mm -hmm. is a whole other category of adhesives um, that are being manufactured, which really opens you up to eliminate those scorch marks. So once again, CAD Cut Glaze available now. Uh, five colors. That one was fantastic as far as the interest level at the show. Yeah, interest level was great. There was another uh, product that we released at this show that um, not necessarily a do-it-yourself product, but one that we print for you that's a full color digital transfer out of Glitter Flake. We've shown you um, in a lot of Stalls TV classes and we've talked about it in a lot of our episodes here about the trend of sublimating Glitter Flake. Um, some of the challenges that come with that is registering your design to where uh, you can't really do fine detailed stuff. You can do more right. patterns and stuff on your own. Um, 
but Stalls has now launched a full color glitter flake product that you guys can send us your artwork, we print it for you, and you can just heat transfer it. And those samples, um, <clears throat> actually much like the glaze samples, they kind of disappeared. Yeah, they People walk away. So much, the samples absolutely disappeared. We gotta chain those things down. Yeah, so we have another short video showing you exactly what the um, CAD Prince Glitter Flake product looks like. So we're going to play that for you now. CAD Prince Full Color Digital Transfers have been one of the top sellers at stalls for many years running, and it continues to grow. That's because it solves top challenges for decorators, allowing you to do full color graphics all on a single layer on practically any fabric that you would want to at any quantity. We're excited to announce the latest addition to this offering, which is CAD Prince Glitter Flake. Glitter is tremendously popular right now, and by adding full color glitter to our product offering in CAD Prince, we're going to help your sales skyrocket. Let me show you how this works. First, we'll start by loading our t-shirt onto our Hotronics Fusion heat press. You can use any heat press you'd like, but be sure to follow the recommended time, temperature, and pressure for the product. Start with the preheat to remove any moisture and get a completely flat surface. And notice, all we have to do is position our print. Our full color graphic in glitter is all on a single layer. I position it into place, cover it with a cover sheet, and heat apply it. A single step application for 10 to 15 seconds is all it takes. After applying, I can hot peel the backing, which means I can print these very fast and produce a high quantity in a relatively short period of time. Let's show this process again with a couple different design ideas. Once again, I'm going to load my garment onto the press and conduct the preheat. While it's preheating, I'm peeling my CAD Prince Glitter Flake Transfer away from its backing in order to position it into place. Everything is pre-spaced on a clear carrier for easy alignment. I position, cover, and heat apply. It's that easy. It won't fade, and the print will outlast the garment, meaning no cracking and peeling either when applied properly with a quality heat press. Look at that brilliant glitter finish. One final example to inspire you, and this particular one is for the Greek market where we've taken Greek lettering and we're going to apply it up the side of this t-shirt. Once again, loading our garment, preheating and applying. Keeping in mind that CAD Prince Glitter Flake can apply to cotton, polyester, or any blend. Peel back your transfer and position it into place. Notice how independent, free-floating images such as these letters are all pre-aligned on the carrier, making for a single-step alignment over at the heat press. Cover and press. Remove the backing hot. No need for a second application. This is a completed garment that's ready to sell. So it seems kind of simple, but literally that's it with CAD Prince Glitter Flake. All you need to do is send us the logo, we'll create it out of full color glitter, and you simply heat apply it with your heat press. All you need is a heat press to get started. Look at these tremendous results. I mean, full color, vibrant color, onto cotton, cotton polyester, or 100% polyester. Either way, you can do it with CAD Prince Glitter Flake. To get started, just visit the link below. Thanks for watching. So another uh, popular finish, and I know there were some questions coming in um, as that was going on that Joe directed into us, and one of those was, can I create that off of my print cut machine? What do you say to that? Um, short answer is no. Uh, the material itself does not have an eco-solvent receptor built into it. Is that something that might be coming down the line in Stahl's future? perhaps in product development, but that particular version of the Glitter Flake is just available printed from us, and it, it won't work in your printing cut machine. Okay, so hopefully you're having as much fun as us, because this is an exciting episode where we get to showcase new products, and so 
Um, we have to show you some in person rather than just directing to the videos. Are although, you sure? yeah, okay. I feel like we do. At All least. right, that's probably a good idea. I feel like I want to get up and touch a heat press or do something. Okay. Um, so the next product that gained a lot of attention at the show uh, that's new is a product called CAD Cut Adhesive, and really combining that with some of the foil rolls that you see here. So just as a basic, I'll start the description here before we move over at the heat press. Um, this is a product called CAD Cut Adhesive. It's 12 inches wide. It can be fed through your vinyl cutter. You won't find this one on the stall site quite yet. Um, so you'll have to call in if you want to place an order for that or type that you're interested. Um, and we'll make sure somebody reaches out to you. So basically, you just have the adhesive and then you have the clear uh, carrier. So it's a little bit milky um, as far as how it looks. You can see the cut lines. You're going to cut this on your vinyl cutter um, with just a, a very low downforce, somewhere around 70 grams or so, depending on your blade. Um, cut your design and weed it away. And basically what you end up with, and we've pre-done some of this so we don't have to cut it all right here, um, you end up with a design that's cut, weeded, and ready to heat apply. And basically what we're trying to do is get an adhesive base down to the garment from our vinyl cutter so we can apply heat transfer foil on top of it. And so I'd like to step over to the heat press and do some, teach you the basics and then really uh, teach you some advanced techniques with this that were just wowing people over at the show. So let's start with uh, just a basic um, shirt here. I'll swing the press away. I have my 11 by 15 uh, attachment loaded. You mind stepping in and sort of being my Absolutely. extra table here? And we're going to load the garment on and show you the process from start to finish. So basically, I have my garment loaded. I'm going to preheat, of course. Any heat press works fine. Right now, we're at 300 degrees. Um, as we launch this product and put it on the website, you'll have a finalized application for it. But we're at 300 degrees. And I'm going to position this adhesive and just tack it into place. It takes about five seconds. Do we have an overhead shot that we can cut to? Yeah, I'll come up close here in a right. second. Sorry about that. So I tack the adhesive for five seconds. I'm going to peel the backing. And you're seeing just the adhesive stays to the garment. Now, you can't leave it like this, although it looks cool. That would be, if you want this look, just buy the clear gloss material. That will give you that look. Oh, but basically, we have adhesive exposed. So I'll take, um, let's go gold. Once you've pressed it, you take a sheet of heat transfer foil and just lay it directly over top. Okay. In this case, we're going to use the gold heat transfer foil and we're going to do a flat finish. Now I'm going to cover the foil and just press for 10 seconds at the same temperature. Heat transfer foil also comes in a roll. It's 12 inches wide by about 200 feet per roll. Uh, really inexpensive stuff. This sheet of foil cost me about a dime to lay on top of the garment, and it's a cold peel. So I'm going to remove it from the press, and I'm going to let it cool down just for a few seconds, and I'll bring it back on the press to peel um, here in a moment. And so we're, uh, we're just basically holding that up against a, a door to cool it down. And then I'll bring it back over the press. No magic that happened off camera, just letting it cool. And then we're going to remove the backing. And you'll see you get that brilliant foil. Let me lay it out a little nicer here. That just the foil sticks right to the adhesive. So you get that nice, true mirror finish. It's almost too bright for the camera as far as how it's reflecting. Uh, but it feels awesome, too. And this is something that's extremely durable. So the idea here is stock different colors of foil, um, stock one roll of adhesive, and you can create whatever you want. Now, if you want to start getting a little more creative with this process, um, we're going to load another shirt here. So again, I'll start with my preheat. Um, let's just go with um, a couple number fives there. Just want to show you some different looks here. So 
position my adhesive, press it. Um, it tends to work better. Um, you get better coverage on like a ring spun shirt, something like that as far as the foil layer. Position it down. Uh, you want to make sure that you try not to trap anything under the adhesive, so you may need to roll the shirt out with a lint roller. And then I'll take, uh, how about red? Would be good. I'm going to show you how to create a distressed effect. So basically, instead of laying this um, nice and flat over top, I'm just going to crinkle it up into a ball. Make sure it covers my design, cover it with the cover sheet, and then give it the 10 seconds. Um, any questions coming in while this is finishing? It's 10 seconds here, Joe. Yes, they'd like to know what the price is on uh, a roll of adhesive. So the roll of adhesive, a five yard roll, is, is $23. $23. You saw me squinting my eyes yeah. like I was looking deep into my thoughts there. And then a 10 yard roll is 39. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Is this, uh, what's the durability and care instructions for the foil, and can it be machine dried? So here's the, basically the durability is great. We've put it through 25 washes with very limited breakdown from the initial look. Um, as far as machine dry, you can, but you are going to take down the luster of your foil. So if you want that brilliant mirror finish, hang dry it. But if you're okay, it'll still be durable. You can machine dry it. It's just going to knock down the... Um, true mirror finish of the foil. So you can see now I get a distressed look. And let me see if I can hold that a little closer for the view here. You can see how it looks like a crackled number and you get a distressed look throughout just by uh, crumbling that up. Now the cool thing is here the adhesive is still exposed so if I wanted to take a smaller uh, piece of just like a flat piece of gold, I can lay that back on top and heat press it and it will fill in all of the gaps with gold. Zach with the save on the cover sheet here. <laughs> Give it the full 10 seconds once again and it's going to fill in all of those areas. What other questions do we have, Joe? Uh, the question is, uh, is it, is it similar to a heat transfer foil adhesive without an adhesive backer? Basically, the difference between uh, our normal thermo adhesive, which is typically used to create like applique patches, is that this one has a clear sticky carrier. It makes it a lot easier to cut and weed and get any types of detail, whereas a thermo adhesive is pretty challenging. The foil product, how does it differ from like the holographic, I think was more of the question, that's without the adhesive. Oh, okay, yeah, the foil is just a standard screen printing foil. It's loose as well, and so basically it doesn't have um, adhesive on it and a special bonding agent for you to feed it through your knife cutter. Um, I technically think this one's better. You're going to get better durability out of it, and you're also going to get a softer uh, finish. So I'll hold that up. You can see the two-tone effect and how the gold filled in nicely. It's a great way to do team colors. I actually spoke with quite a few visitors to the booth who saw this and had been screen printing and thought this would be uh, a great option for personalizing more foil because they were pulling a screen print squeegee over their shirts, semi-curing the adhesive, then taking it to the heat press. So it eliminated a couple steps for them. Do you have another question? Yes, I'd also like to know uh, what would happen if you leave some of the adhesive exposed when you're doing that distressed look? If you leave some of the heat press, the adhesive exposed, you wouldn't have any issues with durability. Um, you probably wouldn't want to run it through an extremely hot dryer because you would reactivate the adhesive and perhaps stick the design together. But you'd want to recommend a hang dry um, application. So I've already preheated this. I'm going to show you something that's intended to uh, blow your mind now. We're going to give it a shot. Um, with this application. So it's tough to see, but I'm pressing the adhesive with that same Love Yoga design that I did earlier. And now I'm going to trick the material. So follow along with me here. And basically we just press the adhesive down. What I've done is I've taken a Teflon sheet. This is a nonstick cover sheet. 
that you typically use to cover your designs. I've put it down to a clear magic mask backing, basically so we have two separable layers, if you can see that. So I just laminated the Teflon sheet down, and then I fed the Teflon sheet actually through my vinyl cutter to cut a heart design out of it. So I'm just going to peel back the heart design, and I have a shape, basically a stencil, that's created from the nonstick cover sheet. Now I've already pressed my CAD cut adhesive down to this white shirt. I'm going to lay my stencil down basically with the goal of creating a knockout design. So I lay my stencil down, then I'm going to lay my complete piece of foil on top making sure it covers the whole image. Cover it with the cover sheet. Heat press it for the full application, the 10 seconds for the foil. What the nonstick cover sheet is doing is basically blocking the foil from getting to the adhesive in that shape. So it could be a heart, a star, it could be a player's number, it could be even a pattern of a bunch of little hearts. Um, all sorts of different options, but it's blocking it from getting down onto that part of the garment. So I'm just going to let this cool down. Um, also notice that this is a slub or a burnout shirt that I'm pressing onto, so we're going to get a little variation in the foil as well due to the texture of the shirt. Uh, it's a boxer craft shirt here. Let this cool down. When I peel it, it's only sticking to that piece. Try to get a hold of my blocker here and remove that. It's, adhesive is still a little bit hot, so I want to make sure it doesn't stick together. Basically, now all that adhesive is still left open, so I re-put the shirt back onto the press. Now I'll grab a secondary color and just cover the whole thing once again. Press it for 10 seconds, and this is a cool way to create a knockout design without having to do a whole lot of art modification. Um, so there's a way to do, to do this out of CAD cut materials, but you need to follow some steps with art creation. With this, I'm basically just doing a two-step process. Let it cool down. And then remove the carrier, and I have a completed design. So just a really awesome technique for ways to leverage foil and how it's built to last. Um, you can see that Basically, we have a lower luster effect even on the foil by pressing it twice versus our true mirror finish on the red because it only got one pressing. If I wanted those to blend a little more of the same texture, I can just put this back on and press the foil one more time. So just a great way to come up with something different. Now we're going to show you one last example. I know we're uh, probably giving you information overload here, but I want to show you one last example. <clears throat> with the number five. Actually, I'll go to the front of this shirt. And we'll just run through that process one more time, but this time creating a pattern. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to skip the preheat just for speed reasons here. I'm going to tack the number five down for five seconds. I'm going to complete that same concept where I'm taking my non-stick cover sheet. This time I've created a pattern out of it, a heart pattern that I'm going to position down, just a random pattern. You could do a chevron, you could do all sorts of things. Position my foil. It's always nice if you give the foil a smooth over just to make sure it's making good contact without wrinkling. Boom, let's give it the 10 seconds. While we're waiting for 10 seconds, any questions, Joe? The question is where can you purchase both the foil and the adhesive and is there anything that you would suggest other than the Teflon sheet to use as a blocker? Well, I, I don't know of anything else personally other than the uh, Teflon nonstick cover sheet. And so basically you're going to end up creating a bunch of little stencils in different shapes that you can offer. Once you create it once, you can reuse it and it's good forever. Um, well. I won't say forever, for a very long time, many applications. So it's the only thing I know of that's truly going to block and not pick up adhesive and get all messy over time. Um, but yes, you can purchase both the uh, foil and the adhesive, of course, from stalls. 
All right, this should be cold enough. So I'm going to peel this. I'm going to remove my template. You can see I have my little heart design all through my number five. I'm going to thread my shirt back on. Cover it with the red foil. Now, obviously, you can be using smaller pieces. We just sheeted a lot of big pieces of foil. And any part of the foil that's not used is still good. You can use again. So save your scraps and utilize those. Let it cool. Um, I'm going to come back over to the table. Well, actually, I'll, I'll stay here. I'm sorry. You guys are going to want to see this close up. So let's, um, Joe, if you can get me on the close-up view um, over at the other uh, table. I'm going to switch back to show this close-up as well. All right, I'm going to talk about that here in a second, but let me give you a close-up of this one in the meantime. So you can see just the silver foil and how you can get any pattern um, that you would want by using this technique. So, of course, I think the foil and the alone with the adhesive is enough. We just wanted to take it to the next level and show you some concepts. Now, Zach, I'm going to uh, pull this back. And for our last concept, because I know we're running a little bit over time here, yep. um, do you want to talk about this at the show and the response to this? Yeah, absolutely. Stalls has uh, recently partnered with Universal Laser Systems. The fact is that um, five years ago, a lot of the CAD cut materials were PVC based, which meant that it wasn't safe to cut them on laser cutters. Uh, with our developments in material, everything is now polyurethane based, and we have a list of approved materials to cut on laser machines. And you can see here, what's really great about this is basically it's etching away <clears throat> the adhesive so you can achieve extraordinarily fine detail with no weeding whatsoever, effectively. So what the Universal folks have done, have, they are including Stahl's materials in their profile database to where uh, if you own a Universal laser, you can now start designing this type of fine detail in the CAD cut designs that you're doing. You can start doing extr extremely fine detail personalized. Yeah, absolutely. And we have an in-depth video on how to do this sort of thing on Stalls TV. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it's called Laser Cutting 101. And basically, uh, the material you're looking at there was fashion film, which mm -hmm. tends to hold the best detail anyways. Yeah. So the beautiful thing about that is now, boom, no weeding. Yeah. I mean, come it, on. Yeah, that's what everybody asks for. <laughs> do you have a... a Somebody actually came to the show and said, do you have a machine that does the weeding for you? I said, you wouldn't be able to get to the booth if we did. So now if you have a universal laser, you have a machine that does the weeding for you. Yeah, it was the best kept secret at the show, yeah. right? Because all the materials were on the bed of the laser. But that's going to be a new way to create graphics like you never could before. It's not going to replace weeding on large designs mm -hmm. because it does take some processing time. But being, being able to create details and utilize the etching away mm -hmm and blowing through cavity, cavities is uh, going to be phenomenal. So a lot of information, perhaps yeah. our most mind-blowing episode yet. I think so. Yeah. Oh, without Courtney, we miss her. Do we? I don't know. Yeah. Thanks for watching the Stalls TV Morning Show. This will be recorded if you want to review it again. It'll be up later today under the live events um, in the archives. And if not, join us next week. I'm sure we'll show you some more exciting stuff. As always, thanks for watching Stalls TV.